So the thing about this slide puzzle, it's not hard or anything, it's just I just realized that there's no point in dealing with this right now because I'm going to need an extra thing at the end to complete the puzzle, which I don't have the final puzzle piece, so I'll come back to this when I do have that piece. I think I already have it mostly solved anyway, but like I said, I can't do anything with it without that final piece. Also. I have been actually messing around in the game a bit to see if I've been missing anything. And you know what I forgot to do all this time that I've been out here? It's been looking for secret messages with my handy dandy flashlight thing. And there you go, a code. And I missed that. And I'm sure I haven't checked the other areas yet where there's this box. I'm assuming that that code's for this box. But I assume if I just do this everywhere, I'll find codes to those other boxes too. So. Let's plug this in. 4412. I'm going the long way. Oh. I'm surprised I didn't get an item out of this. What am I supposed to do with this paper? Okay, let's read this. Stash 3. It can feel as though you're being torn apart limb from limb once they get their claws in your mind. They pry, pull, and prod at you from every direction. It is impossible to sell the source. They tempt and torment you until you succumb to their will. Um, I lost my place because I looked down for a second at my phone. Let's see. Doing whatever is necessary. Their tools of control are so sophisticated and subtle as they masterfully craft your thoughts, your desires. They make you believe they are your own. Cold blank faces on a screen. You cannot recognize them. They seduce your mind with the promise of inciting violence and hedonism, things that motivate or base ourselves. The voices are sometimes soft, gentle as a wind flowing into your ears and filling you with a poison. All of them a collective machine created and motivated by one intention only, to shape your thoughts, rip them apart, to keep you confused, angry, and hungry for more. So I don't know if opening these boxes is even necessary because I don't really need to read that, do I? It wasn't a clue to something else, was it? I don't know. And I'm not sure if there were two other boxes or one. That one said stash three, so that implies that there's three of them. Also, I know I've been down here, but I just want to make sure... I just want to do the light thing with everything now. Let's see, what does it say? Uh, I'm not sure what the first word is. Something the family and familiar and something that I can't read. It sometimes makes them distance and tedious. What? Okie dokie. And I just want to check a spot over here again real quick. Because I don't remember... I think there was only something to collect over here, not any, like... Oh, wait. I missed this puppet string before. Okay, cool. And let me just use this. Nope, everything seems okay here. Alright, so let me go open the other couple of things and also that morse code box that I think I didn't open just yet um, also while I do this let me charge that up real quick finish it There we go, 0392. Stash 2. Alex is suffering and you're the reason why. You made him feel this it wait, feel this. It is your responsibility. He is in pain. It is because we told him he was. We programmed the concept of suffering into his simulated consciousness. It was our choice. If he believes what he was told is the absolute truth, that there are no other possible alternatives, then why shouldn't it be true? I sometimes wonder who programmed what we feel. Alright. 
and grab my batteries real quick. Alright, and now this Morse code box. Also, didn't I grab this note? Let me just grab it again, I guess. I don't know. Okay. And let's see. One second, let me look at it from this angle. Okay, I think I got it. We'll see. Um, yay! So let me see if I can combine them. Uh, I can't. Alright. I don't know if I'm missing a piece or... I mean, either way it doesn't matter right now because I still don't know where I'm supposed to place that. Hmm, okay. And also, once again, let me check. Oh! For when it spreads it lights- wait, for it spreads its light on us. Oh, I didn't see the moon before. It's not the best looking in-game moon that I have seen, but- oh, there's another puppet string. Let me grab that real quick. Once again, like, they are giving me a ridiculous amount of these. How many do I have now? I have nine! And besides the blue fairy, nothing else has popped up though, so... I have a feeling something new is going to pop up shortly, but we'll see. Anyways, I don't think there's anything else out there for me, so I'm just gonna go in, save real quick, and um... I have one other thing I want to try in the house that I didn't think to do before. So I'm gonna try that. Also, let me just make sure my glyph is set. Wrong one. Um, yeah. I think that's the one that does damage to the blue fairy, right? I hope so. So far I don't hear her, so hopefully everything's fine, you know? Okay, so just quickly save. Um, yes. Also, you'll notice the dates on the game I haven't played in a while had a bit of a small hiatus from playing this game. Been busy a little bit in real life, so my bad. Okay, so the thing I wanted to try was there has to be more to these things and I noticed that it's glowing similarly to the vase in the greenhouse and when I shined the, I think, glyph of life. Sorry, oh god. Some people are just rude. I'll finish your story now. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad she finishes it where she left off, because I was worried I would have to listen to like the whole five minutes again. Oh no, it stopped. Did she find me? Why'd she stop the story? Huh. Sounds like she's walking up the stairs, but stairs aren't that long. Anyways, what I wanted to try was using the life glyph on this? That's not it, that's the death one. I thought it was gonna attack me for a second. It's pointing at the floor, but there's nothing on the floor. Though I suppose... It could be pointing to a direction? So maybe the room under this one is the one it wants me to go to? I don't know. But we're gonna try it. Alright, I'm nervous to go out the store since I know the blue fairy is around. Hmm. Mom? Can't you see it right behind you, my love? It's right there. It's so obvious. I'm so well hidden. Controlling every step you take. Alex. Hunt. Please, open your eyes. Okay, barely creepy. Alright, so let's deal with the blue fairy. Ah, where is she? I don't know. I'm so nervous to exit the store. She's not like that scary anymore, but I am just so bad at fighting her. 
That sounds like her, but I don't know what direction she's in. I'm gonna assume she is not in the kitchen. I'm just gonna go to that room where I think the puppet might have been pointing to. So... Oh, it sucks not knowing where she is, dude. She could be behind me, she could be in front of one of these rooms. It's terrible. Alright, I'm gonna peek my ass in here. Alright, nothing. One second, maybe she's in this room again like that last time I caught her telling a story. There she is. She's not telling a story though, she's just chilling. Oh, come on lady. Get out. I forgot what the heal button is, so I'm just looking at this. That doesn't tell me. One second, uh, I just need to figure out. Cause I, since it's been a few days since I've played this, I already forgot how to heal X. Alright, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, I'm ready to spam it. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Well, I'm glad I just saved. That was very aggravating. Okay, so let me just make sure that I have the progress. Yep. That's why I save all the time. I think I need to redo this though, but that's okay. That only took a second. I'm assuming this is the room it was pointing to since there's another one of these in here. And I'm pretty sure this was not in this room before. It sounds so close, it's so aggravating. Wrong thing. Of course it's pointing into the room that she's probably in. This game can't cut me a break ever. Alright, I'm gonna try some strategy this time. I'm gonna bother- oh wait, she's not in here. Huh. That's strange. Oh, I have a couple books. Let me put this into the shelf real quick. Hmm. Just need one more book. Mm. All right. So I guess that means go back outside? Alright, I mean I'm happy to. I hate being in here with this chick, so... Hopefully I can just run my ass out and be fine. Please be fine. Okay, okay. We did it. We didn't have to face her again for some reason. Okay, so- oh, I see something glowy over there. Alright. Um... Hmm. The glyph of blood. Contains a part of the burning crimson soul. The blood primordial beast is the ambition that drives all creation. It can't read the rest because that bit of white there is must never be tainted by mortal hands. Mm. Uh, 
Oh, oh, please no, please no. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. You know what? The blue fairy isn't that bad after all. Which one is the death one? I forget. This is so hard. Fuck. Alright. So this guy, I'm pretty sure I can't get hit by him as much as I can the blue fairy, so that's why I'm actually running around for once. On top of there's actually room to run around. Ah, fuck. Okay, so it takes more than two to kill him. Unlike the blue fairy, which sucks. Oh man, not even three does it? This is aggravating. No! Damn, 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 damn. Okay, he does a lot of damage I, ex I expected. He takes almost all of my health. Shit. I thought I was going a different way. Okay, so that was like a boss fight. I just got a che- Oh, is that my dad? Alex, my son. I'm sorry. So is the blue fairy my mom? This is oh, a really I weird cutscene. I didn't know, father. I didn't mean to, I- You're not responsible for what it does to you, my son. I- I just wish- I just wish I wasn't your monster. I'm sorry I couldn't save you from it. It's my fault. It's all my fault. I let you drown. I was just afraid she would love you more than she ever loved me. Forgive me, son. Hmm. This is a very weird game. Forgive me, father. Um... And now I'm suddenly back here. Cool. Alright. I don't know what to think about that. Also, didn't I get a new glyph? Is this it? I think it was a blood glyph, so it's probably red. There we go. But speaking of blood glyph... I don't know if that'll work here, but... Yep. I totally don't want to go down here. Like, there's still actually a lot to explore, on top of I'm actually seeing an option to go down this ladder right now, so... Oh, oops, nope, I don't want to. Because there's still, like, a whole forest to explore at that gate that I opened up and haven't even gone out yet. And then there's still more to do in this house, and now there's a whole underground area. So I'm not really sure what to do next. Oh, real quick, I guess... One other thing in the house I can do is, um... The blood toilet. Maybe I can use the blood glyph on that and something will come out of the toilet? I'm not sure if that monster was really his dad or just maybe an illusion or something. Um, let's see here. I just want to make sure I have my death glyph up. So what was I doing again? Oh right, okay. The toilet. And then I'll probably save and that will be it for now until tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, here we go. A key! I don't really know what locked rooms there are left. Basement. There's a basement? Is it a basement in this house? Because I'm pretty sure there weren't any other locked- wait, no, I remember now one room that was locked. It was like a weird small side door that didn't look like the rest, and it's by the like living room door. Oh, and then of course I forgot that there's also a pier to explore eventually to, I assume? But we'll see. But like I said, I'm probably gonna save now, and that'll be it for now, so thanks for watching!